Hello Commanders and welcome to the last episode of the Greater Tamila Camp series. The journey is coming to an end. The journey is ending today and we are going to witness something very cool at the end. When everything is going to finish and everything is going to be revealed and we can see everything about our enemies, uh, we are going to be shocked. I have been shocked already. I have been totally shocked. Okay. Let's carry on with the invasion of Oman. If you want to find out what happened in this episode, in this series in general, you have to keep watching till the end. Okay, so uh, the naval blockade is finished in Oman. We killed all of those uh, uh, defenses in his coastal cities. Now I'm going to carry on and invade his lands with my uh, 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 national guards. He still has some infantries here, random in random provinces. I will take care of them with my uh, elite. Elite attack squadron. The zones here in Saudi Arabia, they are stable, such as the Medina complex. I can now start moving my infantries. Meanwhile, I am preparing my land armies on the borders with Poland. I'm thinking that my next enemy is going to be Poland. You know why? Because I established a truce with Philippines. I think that Philippines is is trustworthy and he's not going to stab me from the back but i have no contact with poland so he is unexpected and he might do something unusual so i need to be prepared on the borders with him we might witness a huge battle here we might witness that but Miliadas here is going to prepare his uh, armies i'm now under the process of the large spamming of the units that's why i did not develop my level up my multi rocket launches and sams yet because i need to spam as much numbers as possible because you know at level one they are less expensive the level four air security fighters they are ready you know what i am going to to do after the level four research is done i'm going to start the research of the stealth air security fighters yeah i'm gonna need the level five air base for that let's have a look at philippines Level 3 army base, level 2 air base, level 3 army base, and level 4 naval base. He has a lot of annexed cities in the Pacific. Look at that. Level 4 naval base, level 1 air base in Bogor in Indonesia. He has, yeah, yeah. I, I think that Philippines is going to possess a large navy there. Level 4, so he's going to possess maybe cruisers or ballistic submarines. Well, if he has ballistic submarines and he might start throwing ballistic missiles, that is going to be a huge problem for us because they do not have any counter for ballistic missiles. If you need to counter ballistic missiles, of course, you need a high level mobile sun launches or anti-missile systems. Okay, the Birkut Sukhoi 47 is under production now. The research is done, the level 5 air base is done, and now it's about time to start making our stealth air security fighters. Okay, boys, this is my army uh, for now. I'm starting to move them towards Poland. My navy is in the Black Sea, of course, to escort my land armies, but, but I was so late. I was very late i did not attack him in time you know why because poland attacked africa and finished the game first i finished the game second and it's finished yes he did it so quickly one day one game day he conquered all of north africa he got two victory sites and he won the game i'm going to show you all the details boys look at this he attacked uh, all of the north of course, declared war on the African coalition, such as Sudan, um, Ghana, and uh, Ethiopia. And he took the victory site in Egypt. And look at that, how many lands he possessed. He has a lot, a lot of max level motorized infantry. That's why he started carrying on pushing uh, to Africa. Also, he has max level strike fighters. He has mobile sum launchers. And uh, we are going to see more what he has. These are the African attack submarines, max level attack submarines everywhere. Also, Sudan possesses max level destroyers. Also, the Africans were very strong, but Poland destroyed them. He has mobile artilleries, and this is his infantry officer with max level member of tanks, level 4 mobile sum launchers, max level uh, strike fighters, and uh, max level motorized infantry. 
that's a huge, that's big. And also he has max level attack submarines. He is closing the Mediterranean Sea. Let's, ha let's have a look at his defenses. Oh, max level naval patrol aircrafts. That's cool. He also has cruisers, max level cruisers for Poland. Naval officer. Oh, level 2. Theater defense systems, level 4, mobile sun launches. Look at that. Level 2 stars, mobile tanks. He also has strikers here. Sams. That's huge. Look at me. Look at the Greater Tamilakam Army. Three stacks of stealth air security fighters. Level 3 naval patrol aircrafts. Level 4 mobile sun launches. Level 4 multi rocket launches. And this is my navy. Also on the borders, look what I have been preparing. My stacks, they were ready for the invasion. I have the level 4 mobile radars, a lot of SAMs, a lot of multiple rocket launches. Look at that big size of multiple rocket launches and another stack of stealth air security fighters guarding my uh, stacks and my land armies. Let's have a look at Philippines now. Now is the big shock. Philippines, that I never spoke about him. Look at this. 24 max level mobile sun launches. Look at his air force. One second, these are a lot of max level motorized images, but have a look at his air force. Look here, boys. Look here. Max level strike fighters. Max level uh, level 5 air superiority fighters. And stealth air superiority fighters. That's a full composition. Look at here. Four stacks of max level attack helicopters. Yes, look at that. He is spamming stealth air security fighters and this is in his navy. Max level cruisers, max level frigates and level 5 naval officer. How many ships he has. Even max level destroyers he has. Look at that. This is huge. Just imagine. Imagine if we had a fight. Imagine if we had a battle here. Poland ruined everything. Poland ruined everything. I hoped. I hoped that we fight against each other. That's outrageous. Imagine if Greater Tamilakam and Philippines went on a fight. Damn. Even Amazonia has max level cruisers, level 3. Frigates, look at that. Mm, this is Tanka Ace. He has also aircraft carrier with um, cruisers, destroyer, and Air Force naval strike fighters. Yes, he has stealth bombers and stealth strike fighters. Look at that. Stealth strike fighters and stealth bombers. Amazing. Max level elite attack aircrafts also. Look at the stealth bomber. All of the technologies, they are here in this game. This is amazing. Let's have a look at the empires now. At the Greater Tamilakam Empire, the United India in yellow. Look at that. This is amazing. I know the game is finished prematurely. I did not want it to finish like this. I wanted to have a big fight. I was preparing for that army for a big fight for you guys. A big show, but Poland did not wait. Poland just wanted to just finish the game. This is amazing. Let's have a look now at the time lapse of the Greater Tamilakam game. In yellow here, this is in India, is Greater Tamilakam. I started pushing. I took Marathi Confederation, I took also Hindustan, but after Myanmar took my capital, I pushed him back and I destroyed him. Look how I destroyed Myanmar. After China has possessed all of that region and also Philippines. I killed China and Kazakhstan and moved forward to the Middle East. All of Kazakhstan, Pakistan, um, Iran also. I start pushing and pushing and destroying all of the Central Asia. But look how Poland destroyed all of Europe. That's actually amazing. He killed Spain and after he moved to the Spanish colonies on um, on Africa. Thank you guys for watching this series. It was a pleasure to show you an amazing show. Let's meet in the next one. Thank you guys and bye bye.